Today I wanna to start off my video reinforcing to you that you are an energy conduit. And let's connect to our divine selves. I'm gonna do this process fairly quickly because I have done a video on it already and uh, you can check that video out. I will leave the link in the description of this video. So this is what I recommend you do every morning, whether you understand it or not, and keep turning, tuning into my videos because I'm going to continue to talk about topics and things that I think are important um, from the knowledge that I've gained through my lifetime and the struggles and the you know energy transmutations that I've actually created in my own life and I wanna share them with you because they are so powerful. So you are divine light and love and you can bring that God self of you into you. It can, you can flow that divine self and that energy right through you and you can move all density out. So there are good energies, light energies, there are dense energies and basically each have a purpose what we're really seeking in this lifetime is the balance. So I wanna help you balance. I wanna help you balance because I've been there. I've been in unbalance. I have been in complete uh, trauma mode. I have been in complete disillusionment. I have been there. And a lot of this knowledge that I wanna share with you goes back to you know 30 years ago in my life. And I just didn't really know how to put it all together. And so this system, this grounding, this connecting to your divine self that I'm going to do relatively quickly just to ground the energy of this video, to ground myself, to connect my, di my divine self, to, just so that I know that what my message is today, you are receiving it in your divine. So I hope you resonate with this video. So let's get started. So let's connect to our divine selves and manifest. So I always start the process, close my eyes. I could be sitting, standing. Take some deep breaths down into your lower belly, lower, like below your stomach. While I do this, I say, I am divine light and love. I am divine light and love. I am divine light and love. I am unconditional love. I receive only unconditional love and I emit only unconditional love. So what you do then is you appreciate. You appreciate things in your life that are, you know, things that don't trigger bad emotions. You want something that's going to trigger, you know, what is it that you appreciate? It might just be that walk in the park that you appreciate. You might just appreciate that beautiful lamp that you just bought or the wonderful boat ride you just had or whatever it is, whatever in the moment that just gave you that excitement. For me, it's always my son. It's always my son. I appreciate my son. And as you feel that appreciation, you're going to feel it in your heart center. This is also considered your heart chakra. But I'm not going to get into chakra and energy centers in your body because you can go and find all kinds of information on chakras. I'm just going to show you my system, how I use it. I appreciate my son. It just feels warm. And you start to feel the warmth energy going up from your heart chakra to your throat right up through your inner body, outer body, all around, like this energy is all around you. And if you were to get really sensitive about your energy, you'd be able to feel it so far. Now I studied um, a, a meditation technique, a spiritual technique way back when I was in South Korea and it was, it taught me how to feel my energy, but I just didn't know what to do with the energy. So now I'm gonna tell you what to do with the energy. Okay, so we're gonna raise it through, right up through our third eye chakra, inner, outer body. And then it gets to your crown chakra, which is at the top of your head. When you get there, allow it to sort of burst out like a geyser or flow out like a geyser or just rise. Allow that energy just to rise to wherever you're comfortable with and then just Bring that energy back down through you, okay? Let it flow through your head, neck, and 
from your shoulders, out through your hands, down your whole body, down your legs, your bum, down through your feet, and allow that energy to shoot out your feet like a geyser. And imagine, and through that intent, and intend, it connecting with the divine center of earth, okay? The earth is divine as well. The earth reacts to our energy. The earth is ours to take care of. So we can all support each other. We can use our divine. We can use the earth. We can use so many wonderful energies to encourage us to be who we are and to come into our own energy. So once that's done and you're connected, you bring the earth divine energy back up into the center of your body. There's lots of different terms for this center of your body, but basically that's just your energy center. And you just feel it there and just, hmm, you are connected. Now what I want you to do in this video is draw your divine self, allow it to flow through you, and consciously with your thoughts, move any density that you feel in your body. It could be just a, like, like a sore arm, or it could be just a stomach ache, it could be something, but just allow that energy to flow through your body and push that out through your feet and ground it with Mother Earth. Another good thing to do here is also to cut all cords of attachment to yourself, to anybody. It doesn't matter if it's a loving relationship, a non-loving relationship, it doesn't matter, just cut all cords of attachment to you and send them back to where they come from with unconditional love. Okay, so right now, I feel like I'm in a really good state. I'm in a high energy space and now I would like to talk to you about why I wanted to do this video. And it's something that I really know intimately and it's something that I've really been learning about myself as well over many years and that is our shadow selves. So this is the part of you that you don't wanna see. You can hear your shadow self. You can also, you can also feel your shadow self. You can, the shadow self can even be for like clairvoyant people. Actually, they could actually see like a, like a like a dense being, like something that's not loving looking, it's dark, it's black, it's, and they know that that's just not their energy and they wanna change it, but it's not just as easy as cutting cords of attachment because this is your shadow self. So how do you realize your shadow self? Well, basically you go within. And the process that I show you, you know, connecting to your divine self and manifesting is the first step to that. Okay, so once you start to allow your divine self to come in, you will start to get clear in your life and you'll start to go, yeah, maybe I should look at this, this a little bit more. And why do I react like this in this situation? You know, for example, I've been in, you know, maybe relationship situations that, you know, um, if someone says something to me in the wrong way, I don't vibrate with it, it doesn't sound right, it sounds harsh, it sounds negative, it doesn't resonate with me. You know, I would go back at that with, you know, something negative and harsh. So I was just matching that energy, right? So, you know, I wanted to figure out how do I not match that energy and just be who I am, solid in Tammy Lee. And it was connecting to my divine self that made me solid in my energy. That doesn't mean that I still don't have to address these negative things in my life. I want to address those things in my life because I know that once I have them down, I've learned something, but I like to learn. I wanna, I wanna release the emotional negativity, the anxiety. I wanna know where anxiety is coming from for me. So you just, I want you to be aware of that. And I also want you to be aware of the shadow selves of other people around you, which more than likely they're not aware of. So it's an energy. So say for instance, you know, you're feeling good. You connected to your divine self. You've been manifesting. You know you're in a good place and a loving place and you just want maximum happiness for everybody. And then comes in this person and everything's just kind of like this with them. And you can feel it and it's kind of like, why am I feeling bad? Well, you know, people go to the doctor and they say, oh, I'm in this relationship and I'm feeling really a lot of anxiety in this relationship. And the doctor says, here, take this pill. Take this pill and that'll get rid of your anxiety. But you're not addressing what this is and why this is impacting you like that. And you really do. 
so that you can get some sort of peace with it, more understanding with who you are, and so that you can grow beyond what you are in this moment to be a more enlightened you. Okay, so that's, you know, for me, I, uh, you know, I've had a recent situation where I've been in the presence with somebody that, you know, you're trying to figure out energies and, and what's really happening. And then, you know, you're in the energy and it's just this wonderful energy. And then all of a sudden you feel like these, I don't know, like pricks, little pricks. And it's making you anxious. The next thing you know, you got a stomach ache. And by connecting to my divine self and being clear in who I am, I know that's not coming from me. That doesn't mean I have nothing to learn, but I know that in that moment, that wasn't coming from me. So whatever it is, it's part of another person and possibly part of another person's shadow self, especially if they don't wanna be like this. So they're stuck too. And so for anybody who you know you have a shadow self, you know you're fighting against your shadow self and possibly the shadow self of another, what you need to do is connect to your divine self, own your energy, move your energy, be solid in who you are when you step into the energy of others. And then no one can rock you. No one can rock you. You will rock your world. No one else will rock you. Well, we wanna be rocked, I guess. I'm not saying that, but my point is that you know, you wanna draw in the energies. You wanna, you wanna resonate with what's coming to you. So in order to draw this good, solid, loving energy to you, you need to be good, solid, and loving. And if you notice that you got these prickles and pricks and just this, all this other stuff coming into you, you stay solid in who you are. You don't have to fight. You don't have to argue. You don't have to cut somebody completely out of your life. Or maybe you do. If there's abuse or something like that, maybe you need to do that. But for now, all I want you to know is that get solid in who you are. Be open to some of the videos that I'm going to be putting out. Be open to shadow energies because with every good, there is a bad. And with that, when every good, sorry, within every bad, there's a good. So no matter if you see something as being good or bad, like the walls crumbling down around you feel horrible, but those walls may have needed to come down to open up the view so you could see out the window. So it's, trust me, get in touch with your divine self, allow your energy to flow, be good with it, be happy with it. I love you. I am divine light and love. I wish you the best.